Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, the peoples of Europe demand a health union, they demand an energy union, and above all, in the face of Putin's cruel aggression, they demand a defense union. We need standing military forces, we need a commissioner for defense, uh, we need joint purchases of equipment, we need a joint headquarters. And this cannot be done without treaty change. We need to do it because in future, if Mr. Trump returns to the White House or the United States is involved in the Pacific, we might not be able to rely on the United States and we should not be helpless. So I'm in favor of um, uh, moving to the um, convention, but don't take it for granted that uh, uh, I would always be in favor of uh, majority voting. Because in this crisis, on the one hand, I feel Mr. Orban should not be allowed to veto sanctions. And on the other hand, we have a structural problem. Germany and France, the largest countries in the EU, are also the most secure. And during the Ukraine war, they have not convinced me that they feel the sense of threat of us on the flanks. If we move away from uh, unanimity, they will get an effective veto on anything the EU does. And this requires consideration. I'm looking forward to a lively debate. Thank you.